So day four, we're coming back to my family heritage here in Geelong. We're just past some of the old family farms and all that. And dad remembers all this area being farmland, which I'm just about to show you when he was growing up. And now progress over 50 years is just houses everywhere. But we've come to a lookout point here in Geelong and here's some of the videos. Well, here's some views of it. So this is Ceres Lookout in Geelong. Beautiful view from up here. The ocean's out there. But yeah, just imagine all this being farmland about 60 years ago. <laughs> now it's all just covered in houses. And my dad told me a story about they wanted to, he used to play in this area as a kid growing up. And um, he said the family farm, they found out too late that it was, that it had been sold or they would have bought it at the time. And we would have probably grown up around here. But it's a beautiful area up here on the hill. Kind of love these things. Because it tells you the direction of everything around us how many kilometers they are away. All the towns. That's pretty cool. Mm. So we've come to Anglesey in um, Victoria here. Just a short drive from Geelong. We're going to check out the beach here. There's plenty of parking. Bit of an inlet where people seem to be doing kayaking. But here's the beginning of the beach. I'm just going to show you guys what this beach looks like here. Oh yes, yeah, so that's the inlet. I guess it's a bit tidal. Ah, oh, it's easier to walk here. <laughs> it's harder. From what I could see, there's a lot of surfers here from the distance. Nice cool breeze in the air, must admit. Yeah, it looks like a nice beach here actually. They got a surfing area over there too. It seems to be just for the surfing. There's a surf club up on the hill. Apparently there's a yacht club around the corner there, from what I can see. But yeah, beautiful beach here. Just to relax. So there's the inlet behind us. Yeah, beautiful area here. <laughs> and the, yes, there's a lot of kids here and stuff, but this is more like high school kids doing um, their sports. Yeah, and surfing out there. But look at the cliffs. They look pretty cool. It's like there's a lot of erosion there. Rocks in the distance. Are people just enjoying themselves on the ocean here? Yeah, beautiful area. So my dad's explaining all the different things about Australian beaches and things like that <laughs> as they're walking across. <laughs> He's explaining about the surfers, students here learning the different types of water that's here, what's dangerous, what's safe about Australian beaches. But this one looks like you can go right out because it's low tide at the moment. Like normally the water comes right up to the edge there by the looks of it during high tide. But during low tide, it's quite relaxing. I'm guessing on weekends, this place must be super busy. Right now it's pretty empty because we're here on a weekday. But let's keep enjoying. So there is a few cafes here in Anglesey, which we saw just driving up. And you like your kayaking. Nice inlet out here, quiet inlet, where you can just go out kayaking. Lots of parking here. You've got kids, there's a bit of a playground there. And you've got your toilets here as well. So yeah, beautiful little beach, and it looks fairly safe to swim in too, during the low tide especially, where you can just go out there and have a bit of a paddle. I don't have to worry too much. The water seems quite shallow going out in low tide. But... We're going to head off to our next stop now. 
my dad was just telling me that Anglesey is one of the um, first oceans uh, beaches, sort of like on the Great Ocean Road where we're driving at the moment. But yeah, beautiful little area here. And then said, oh, it'd be so easy to relax here. Probably true. Yeah, <laughs> probably could relax here quite easily. But anyway, off we go. So just near Anglesey Beach, where we just were, we've come to a chocolate factory, which is about five minutes out of town. So we're gonna check this place out. So we should come into this chocolate factory. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> There's a lot of chocolates in here. <laughs> this place is massive. I've got chocolate bunnies. Looks like all your Easter stuff's out here at this place. So there you go. Just look at this. All the different types of chocolates that you can get. Just massive amounts of chocolates here. Huge selection. And over here, we've got the actual factory. So they can actually watch the way they're actually making the chocolates here. So they're coming off the little conveyor belt there. Looks cool. That's the way they're doing things here. So you've got the whole factory in there. And if you see in here, so you've got people working there and actually designing it, all the chocolates. Now this, this is cool. It actually explains the journey of it becoming chocolate. You've got this whole little big calendar here and you could just slow down the video if you wanted to just to actually read it but it just explains how it comes down to the point where you are now actually enjoying the chocolate one of my favorites rocky road it's really nice definitely going to buy some on the way out dark chocolate rocky road yeah the great wall of chocolate just too much to select from here. Yeah. It's massive. It's huge. Ah, yum. They sell the honeycomb. Definitely want some of this for taking away. What have you got? Relish, chutney, um, jam. Ooh, maybe I'm going to buy some jam here. Definitely honey and jam. Ooh, what have we got here? Triple choc. Brownie. Oh, yum. Don't know what's over here. Australian lemon myrtle cocoa tea. Or you can go the licorice mint cocoa tea. So they've got different teas here as well. Look at this, you can buy gift packs here. Like here you go, gives you an idea. Someone special, sweet treat hamper. Chocolate gourmet, different lollies. Oh, they've got mm, lolly snacks. Oh, these are old fashioned sort of lollies. These things here. Some people might remember them as a kid. Suck on them for ages. Oh, what have we got here? And sanitizer. And of course, you've got a cafe. Oh, look at the, the length of that chocolate. One meter long. Look at these dessert options. Seasonal fruit tart. Seasonal fruit tart. Stickers the light. Oh, then you go up to some brownies. Chocolate brownies. But, oh, God. So how's that taste? Is it great? Yeah? Oh, yeah. That looks nice. So well, this is some sort of fruit thing, pavlova. So it's a pavlova, and this one's a lemon meringue. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, with the chocolate poured over it, and then that's got chocolate as well. Uh. Oh my God, these are so <laughs> filling. It's kind of like we're just sharing one dessert, and we're already feeling a bit full. They're so rich, mm. and um, it ends up the hot chocolate behind me. What's the hot chocolate like, my dear? Very tasty here, apparently. <laughs> Super nice. Definitely worth a try if you're down this area in Geelong, Victoria, uh, and towards Anglesey. It's about five minutes out of Anglesey, this place. 
delicious stuff here. Look at this. So you have mutant kangaroos here. <laughs> kangaroo covered in all sorts of decorations. Ice cream kangaroo. And you have chocolate soaked kangaroo. <laughs> but yes, off again. Now we've indulged ourselves with something rich and tasty. Now it's time to hit the road again. More exploring here out towards Geelong and Victoria. So we've just arrived at another beach. This one's called Torquay Beach here in Victoria, just out of Geelong. But um, look at this beach. It's amazing, this view here. Look at the view here. Yeah. Ed's just walking down. Beautiful looking beach here. Amazing. <laughs> Someone's excited. She's running down. <laughs> and I might come down too. But just look at it. It's amazing. <laughs> What's she digging for? <laughs> I bet you she's digging for shells out here on the water. Uh, probably all the pippies. Because they like to eat them here. They're digging away. <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful here. Oh my God. Yeah? I don't know what she's sneaking up on here. Oh, yeah. Ah, she's looking at snails on the rocks. Well, Thai people eat everything, so. Uh, we'll walk over there. <laughs> Give context where we are. See? A lot of people got their surf club stuff going on over there. Looks like a lot of people swimming over there, but we've got to bring our swimmers down with us because we're out the road. We didn't know what we're doing. And um, here. The water's actually really good here. I wish I did bring my swimmers. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, we're going out a fair bit. If you look at where we are, it's really shallow here, walking out here. But um, yeah, it's a really nice beach. This is another little gem to come out to if you're out towards Geelong, Torquay Beach and I'll put all the links and descriptions um, in the description but yes another beautiful place here and outside of Geelong. Yeah I don't know why these typical iPhone 14 Pros keep going out of focus. I didn't have that problem with my last camera. That was my last phone but I have it a lot with the um, 14 Pro Max uh, camera. What do you think my dear? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, a beautiful place just to paddle around in the water. And just to enjoy yourself. Yeah. That's right. What? Ah, what you looking at? Uh, don't know. Just various sorts of sea life, I guess. I'm not an expert in these areas. But. So Anne is hunting for food. She's been wanting to go walk across these sorts of rocks and look for food. But I'm telling you, you've got to watch your feet. Because you can cut your food, feet easily on these rocks. Especially if there's any oyster shells around. So apparently Anne eats these ones. I'll show you. She eats these ones here, apparently. And one of them's already trying to sneak away when she's not looking. <laughs> so just come to a place called Barwon Heads now. So we're just gonna take a little walk along here and see what's here. Okay, so the road to the Great Ocean Road, which is across there, to another island. Yeah, I know it's not, it's another big road. It continues along. Oh, okay, we can walk along here, I guess. Go exploring. Oh, I think there's a lookout up there called Barwin Heads Bluff. Well, let's check this out a little bit. See what's here. So it's just a different area. Check the water, see how clear it is. So we go out to it. I suppose it's a nice little splash area. Well, the water's nice and clear. 
Uh, so the beach goes all the way up. Let's check how cold it is. Oh, this water's freezing here. <laughs> oh, it's, I suppose it's not that bad. Your feet would adjust to it over time. But it is colder. Yeah, we're gonna walk up here a little bit. Whoa. Splashy one. I just walk under that wharf over there. You can, there's an other walk there where you can take prams and that, just inside. But we're just walking directly under the, along the water, slowly taking our way up. <laughs> Anne's going, why do you complain about Australia all the time? She goes, Australia's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Just too many woke people here at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, uh, at the end of the day, just too many left-wing idiots. <sighs> okay, a little section here to walk along. People are fishing. See here, this whole hill is just covered in crabs, little baby ones. and see if she can catch some of them. Okay, wait. Whoa. See this whole hill here is just full of holes. This is where all these crabs do. And you see them slowly burying themselves into the ground. That's what they do. Here, even this one. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> so Han just had fun catching all those little small crabs and playing with them. I used to chase them as a kid. That was so much fun. Like you'd see them all running across when the tide goes out. And you'd catch them all, put them all in a bucket and just play with them. And then release them back into the water. They were fun. Those crabs as a kid. Just some good memories there. Ah, here we go. Enjoying Ooh. She's wondering why the kids are getting so excited up there amongst the rocks. So I'm walking up there to check it out. See so we're out in the rocks right now because this place is covered in pippies. One of the local fishermen there were using them for bait. But Anne she likes to eat them. Because she's Thai. Yeah, so some good places here. So if you're a kid, um, oh, well, with your parents, you go around here and you just walk on these rocks and there's all sorts of wonderful sort of wildlife here. Sea, sea life, I guess you could say. And when the tide's coming in, you can sit there and do a bit of fishing on the side of the river um, over there. And, or you can do a bit of kayaking or other sorts of water sports, it seems like out there, even swimming. Uh, just enjoy yourself. Um, pippies back into the water there but she was just fascinated by the amount of things that were actually here <laughs> interesting and going can you eat them here and my dad's going i don't know there are different species we don't eat them here maybe people do i don't know you can you guys can tell me whether you actually eat the local pippies here in melbourne or not you can find the little black ones that are all over the rocks here that we we're just showing you in the video if you know whether you can eat them let us know or let us know in some of the other shells that people eat here in the area. I'm very curious because as a kid I never ate them uh, and so I am very interested to know what you can eat and what you can't and maybe some of the local fishermen here in this area probably do know. Do you just use them for bait or do you eat them? Yeah so out in the rocks there it's just full of sort of pippies everywhere well things I call pippies and likes to refer to them as shells that you can actually eat <laughs> but again I'm not sure whether you can eat them maybe you can uh, but just never eaten them before in Australia. Maybe there's locals that actually do eat them. Yeah, if you go in Geelong, you've got this huge, big Ferris wheel. They're calling it a giant sky wheel, just for fun. Guessing it's right next to the um, boat area here. 
got yard. I'm just going to walk a little bit up the beach here, Dad said. So let's go for a bit of a walk. Yeah, Dad's coming. Just putting... So we're just walking around um, Geelong here. <laughs> Look at these little statues here. Nice little park to walk on though. I'm going to bring the kids for a bit of a splash. Yeah, the water's quite shallow. Just play around in. There's apparently some sort of swimming pool here. Can you go swimming in? Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm just about to look what it actually, whether it is clean. But. So we're in Geelong, sort of city centre here. Well, not the city centre, but on the beach. Just walking around. We're here on the first day. But here, we're just going to walk on this wharf. Have a little bit of a look around. See what's here. And there's a bit of a sign here, safety warning. Tells you the quality of the water, I think. So we're gonna check this out. You can wash your feet over there. Pipe savers. Here you go. So it actually is. Water quality is good today for swimming. Apparently they tell you the water quality so you apparently can swim in here today. <laughs> See, over there you've got the um, Ferris wheel and all the yachts, all the rich people's boats. This is a, a after for uh, Asian bars for Eastern Beach. Actually. Eastern Beach in Geelong. That's where we are. So people do swim in here. You can see those little sort of wharfs in the centre there. People just jump in from them. Yeah. I think our dad's just mentioning this was built around 100 years ago, this little swimming area. And dad's mum used to come here when, he, um, when she was younger. And you've got to put that in context, like my dad's in his late 70s and yet his mum used to come here. They got some lifeguards here too. Just watching how people are going. Yeah, so. It's got a bit of a fencing around it so sharks can't get near. There's a bit of a diving area here with deeper water. So my, my dad, his mother and, and mum all have memories of swimming in this place when they were younger in Geelong here. But it's a great setup actually. You gotta look at it. Great place to just come and relax. So this area too has a big um, playground area for your kids. So if you've got kids with you and you don't want to go into this main sort of iconic swimming area here, you can just use the normal swimming pool here for the younger kids. And they've got lifeguards on duty between certain times um, to help protect the safety of everyone. And it looks like there's a little cafe up there as well. There's your toilets, facilities. So yeah, not a bad little place to relax this area of Geelong. And a little Eastern Beach carousel, take you around. For about 10 bucks, they drive you up and down the beach, showing you the area.